this video about the fake documentary, the main battleground of the comfort woman issue by Mickey Dezaki. I think it's, this is my ninth one in the series and I've created a playlist for them and I'll have a link to that in the description so you can see the previous videos. These videos are almost as much fun as my Sea Shepherd videos. Well, Mr. Dezaki made that fake documentary where we felt that we were deceived into participating in there and a bunch of other inaccuracies in the way it was formatted. As a result, my good friend in Japan, Colonel Shun-san, was interviewed by a periodical in Japan. And in this interview, and it was published, and in this interview, Mr. Uh, Colonel Shun-san denotes the deception and the criticism we have in reference to Mr. Dezaki and his finished product. Part of the interview, he mentions one of Mr. Dezaki's previous videos in reference to Japanese women. I cleaned up the graphic there because it's vulgar, but it's critical there about Japanese women. And as a result of that interview, Mr. Dezaki removed his video from the internet, as well as filing copyright claims on other people who reposted the video. Mr. Dezaki, please let me give you a bit of advice that I have given the people who worked for me when I was working prior to retirement. I used to tell them, be careful what you put on the internet because it lasts beyond eternity. You may have removed it, you may have filed copyright claims, but a whole lot of people have already downloaded that video for future use. You see what happens when you aggravate Colonel Shutsa? <laughs> when you deceive him, you can't aggravate him, you just deceive him. But Mr. Dezaki, that's not his only video in reference to poking fun of Japanese culture. He did another one. Yeah. To which I have to say to him, Anata Wabaka. And this one, he's poking fun and he's critical of Japanese students. Once again, I had to clean up the graphic that he used. And as you can see, he put on various costumes to imitate Japanese students. Now, why Mr. Dezaki would come from America, born and raised here, go to Japan, the nation of his heritage, just to be critical and poke fun of them? I don't understand that. But <laughs> perhaps he may, if he does not like the country that much, he may want to leave and go come back to, no, no, stay in Japan. Sorry, Japanese, you can keep him. <laughs> I have a series of videos titled, Why I Love Japan. Perhaps, Mr. Dezaki, you may want to start a series, since you have two or three already, on why you hate Japan. See? Very simple. Why you hate Japan? You already have three videos in that category. You may want to expand upon that. Why you went to Japan to be critical of the nation of your heritage, uh, it's incomprehensible to me. I've been to Italy a few times and I have no criticism of Italy. I fell in love with the place when I was there. I would think because of your heritage being Japanese, once you're there you would fall in love with the place and try to reduce any criticism of the country. But I was wrong. And you know what? You're a liberal, I'm a conservative, and we don't think alike. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niangoku, Japan. And thank you for taking this America out of America and welcome him into your country. <laughs> He's exactly what I've been warning the people in Japan these number of years. Liberalism from the United States is creeping into your country and it will ruin your country as it has destroyed our country as it destroyed our culture. This is one small example. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>